Hello and welcome to the next chapter in our ongoing series of tutorials that will help familiarize you and improve your skills in Corel Paint Shop Pro Photo X2 Ultimate. My name is Robert Corel. In today's short lesson I'm going to show you the basics of HDR photography and how to use the HDR photo merge routine in Paint Shop Pro. I have a photo tray open with five bracketed exposures of the same scene to illustrate the basics of HDR. What I've done is mounted my camera on a tripod and took five separate exposed photos of the same scene without moving the camera. All I did was adjust the shutter speed shorter and longer so that I had a range of exposures. This is the underexposed photo or the most underexposed photo. In it you can see the sky and the sunset and details in the clouds but information in the bridge is lost in shadow. As I raise the exposure, the sky gets brighter, becomes more washed out, but information in the darker areas becomes more visible. Till I get to the end here, you can see the sky is completely blown out, no detail there at all, as well as the sunset. But inside of the tunnel, looks pretty good. HDR uses differently exposed photographs to get the best exposure information from them all. Select File HDR Photo Merge to start. The dialog box is divided into a large preview area. You've got some load image area as well as other options, preview and then your settings down at the bottom. To load the images, click Browse, navigate to the folder on your hard drive where you've got your bracketed exposures. And I've got five shots here. I'm just going to highlight them, select Open, and then they appear in, as thumbnails in the middle of the dialog box. You can see the file name and the exposure information below them. Next to the exposure information, is a check which indicates that image is included in the HDR photo merge. I can take them out or add them back in. You can see the preview window up at the top which illustrates the effect of the settings you're choosing down here. I always click suggest settings to start. You can see the result shown in the preview window which is just like any other preview in PaintShop Pro. You can zoom in, pan around, and investigate at a higher magnification. You can also fit it back into the window. From top to bottom, we've got a couple of options here. Align images. Click this if you've got some movement in your camera and you want to make sure all the images are overlaid right on top of each other. I used a pretty sturdy tripod and so I'm fairly confident I do not need to do that here but you might wish to click this or if you're shooting handheld HDR photography you would definitely want to click align images. Create the result as a 16-bit image. Check this if you want a higher quality result otherwise it'll be opened as an 8-bit JPEG type of image. Now the settings at the bottom. We have two HDR settings. Brightness which controls the overall brightness of the image you can play with that and that's fairly obvious what it does. Clarify which increases the contrast. You can see the effect kind of pops up the artistry a little bit. There are really no right or wrong settings. It's just up to you and what you like and what looks good. When you're done adjusting the settings, choosing the images and you're happy with the result, click OK. PaintShop Pro will merge the images and pop the result on screen for you to continue editing if you like and save. Now that's an important point. Although this looks good, you can see sky information looks nice. You can see the sunset, you can see information in the clouds, and you can see the darker details inside this bridge. You may wish to continue editing using the adjust menu specifically brightness, contrast, you might want to make a histogram adjustment 
increase colors, perhaps a smart photo fix, remove noise or sharpen. Really, post HDR photo merge editing goes a long way towards creating a final image. And then when you're done, you can save it and publish it. All right, that wraps this lesson up. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.